Okay, boys and girls, welcome back. This is part 11 of the AutoWit tutorial series. If you haven't already done so, please make sure that you watch the other video so you're up to speed on what we're doing. Okay, you'll be glad to know, guys, that you've made it to the part where we actually do some interesting stuff. You've learned the basics, which is great. What you've learned can be carried over onto other programming languages, so you've got a good base there the arrays you know about operators etc etc but now it's time to get on with some browser automation okay so um, i'm just going to presume that you've got the editor fired up and you're ready to learn before we get into today's content just the shameless plugs check out the links in the description check out the membership to the botempire.com and all the perks you get with that if you haven't already done so check out the autoit course links in the description it goes a lot deeper than the YouTube stuff, of course. And then also, if you haven't already joined us on Discord, where we like to dance and tables, drink beer and all that good stuff, then join us on the Discord. Come and say hello and start learning from other people that are using um, AutoWit and Browser Automation Studio and JavaScript and all this. So come and say hello. And if you haven't already subscribed, Make sure you do and press that mother trucking bell icon so you get notified of when I release new content, especially if you're into AutoIt and browser automation and all that good stuff. Okay, now on with today's content. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to do something quite simple. We're going to open the browser up, we're going to make a search and all that good stuff. Now, in this video series, I am going to be using the old Internet Explorer as a browser. Now, you're probably thinking, what the cheese? Why are you doing that? Well, um, IE is actually, um, it has functions that are built in with AutoIt. Um, you can, don't worry, you can, <laughs> you can use Google Chrome, Firefox, and all the other browsers. But um, IE is all, um, has functionality already built in. So for this series, I will be using IE because to uh, use Google and a uh, Google <laughs> to use Chrome, sorry, and to use Firefox and the other browsers, you need to import some libraries and stuff. And we're not quite at that stage yet. But fear not, everything that you are learning now can be easily. It, it's the same regardless of what browser you would be using. You can easily uh, use functionality that does the same uh, with the same features okay so don't worry about that okay so let's do some magic so what we're going to do today we're going to use our include okay so uh, what we're going to achieve today is we're going to let the user or yourself input a keyword and we're going to go to bing and we are going to search for that keyword so we're going to start off nice and easy we're going to learn learn some stuff along the way um, and then as we progress we're going to do some really neat stuff so we need to include and we need to include all the functionality for ie so we do ie dot au3 like so and as you start typing as before it will show up the matches that it thinks that you're trying to get to so then after we've done that we want to uh, make a Variable, let's call it local and then let's uh, keyword to search or keyword search. Keyword search, yeah. And then we are going to make that equal. And by the way, with all of it, you can build out uh, GUIs, graphical user interfaces. Uh, it has, um, is it called Coda? Or let me just check. I forgot the name of the. Uh, yeah, uh, Coda, which is K-O-D-A, which you can design uh, graphical user interfaces all integrated with AutoWit. But for now, what we're going to do, we're just going to show an input uh, box so the user or yourself can input some data and then that's used within the script. So we can do that by, um, so we're going to make a keyword, that's, we're going to make a variable and that variable is going to hold whatever's input into this input box so we just use input and then we open up the brackets and it will tell you auto it will tell you what is needed we need a title and a prompt or what is shown to the user okay all these other ones are optional okay 
So you can look at these and you can uh, change them basically uh, where it's shown on the screen uh, when it times out, etc. But all you need to input is a title. So I'll put a pick a, pick a keyword. Okay, and then we'll close that up. And then we need a font. So we'll just say, please input a keyword. Okay. So let's check that out. Please input a keyword. Football. Okay. Now by doing that, what would happen, what we said here, and I'm going to run through, I'm going to explain the whole script once it's finished, but basically we've made a variable called keyword search, and that holds whatever the user inputs into that input box. Okay, so I put football. So keyword search would now hold the term football. Okay, so then after that, we will do, just to check so you can see that, let's just make a message box. Um, and then as usual, zero, and then uh, zero, then we're gonna put title results, and then let's just put the variable keyword to search, so you can check that that's what I said is correct. Please input a keyword, football, and then it's gonna do a message box with whatever's in that variable keyword search, football, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to, if you watched the previous video, you'll know that you can comment stuff out with a semicolon. So I'm just going to comment that out so it doesn't get run. So we don't need that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is get to some of the fun stuff. I'm just going to put it there. And I'm going to say OIE, and you can call this what you want. Um, yeah, so let's keep it simple. Let's just do... O I O I E and that equals to I underscore. So when you're using a function within a tool set, within a function set, we use the underscore. Okay, so it's underscore I E, and you'll see all the different um, actions that you can take. So I'm going to use. Um, I need a crate, i.e. crate, sorry, i.e. crate, and then you open up and it takes in some parameters. And in this case, the only one you need to input is a URL to go to, okay? But you can, um, you can input the, these uh, parameters as well, such as if it's visible or not, wait time, how long to wait before it, um, we'll say there's an error, um, if it's focused or not. So these are all optional, but the only one we have to put in is the URL we want to go to. So I'm gonna say bing.com. Always pick on bing, for bing, okay? And then after we do that, I'm gonna sleep, so wait, in other words, for five seconds, okay? And then I'm gonna do, let's just run that actually, just so you can see where we've got to. Input a keyword, football, press okay. It's gonna open up there and wait five seconds and then it's done, okay? So it loads the browser really quickly. There's no overheads on it. So then what we're gonna say is local. So we're gonna make another variable and we are gonna say underscore IE. And like I said, I'm gonna explain all this in detail when we're finished. Uh, we're gonna say, we're not gonna do that at all. We're gonna, we need to give that a name. <laughs> which will help and we'll call that search bar. And we'll set that equal to uh, the underscore IE and then get object. I think the uh, mic just cut off there. Hopefully everything's okay now. Let's just check. La la la. Yep, great. Uh, so we want to input our variable, and then we are going to do Q. And let me explain that real quick. So we're making a variable, and we're calling it search bar. Okay. 
and then we're putting that equal to underscore. So we're using the function, uh, uh, making an object, i.e. get object by name, okay? And where we wanna find that object is in the browser that we made, which is here, okay? And what do we wanna search for? Well, we're searching by name, and I've put Q there, and you're probably wondering what the hell is that? Well, if we go to bing.com, and we click on the search bar, and we inspect, this is on Google Chrome, by the way, but you can do this on any browser. Now, if you look under name, so we're making an, uh, we're searching for an object, the search bar, okay, and we're searching for it by name, okay? We could have used different options like ID, but we did by name, and the name of this object, or the name of this search bar, is called Q. So that's why we've done that. So we're saying make a variable, <laughs> make a variable, call it search bar, and inside of that variable, we want you to um, hold the hold the object, which is uh, get object by name. And where do we want to get it from? Well, we want to get it from the uh, from from the browser that we made. Okay, and we're searching for the name. Q, which is the search bar, okay? And then we can use another function, which is i.e. action. So we wanna take an action, and then on that search bar, we want to do a click. Okay, so basically we're gonna click on the search bar. We'll search for the search bar. We found it by looking on the browser for the object, the search bar, and then we're going to take an action, and we're going to what action? Where do we want to take the action? Well, on the search bar. What do we want to do there? Click. Okay, so we're basically clicking on the search bar. Okay, then we're going to sleep. Do a little sleep for two seconds. Okay, and then we're going to send. We're going to send. And we're going to do curly braces and then we're going to do enter. No words, no, I don't want to do that yet. We haven't actually, <laughs> we haven't put anything into the search bar yet. Okay, so what we want to do first is send. And what do we want to send? So send means basically type, okay? We're going to type, uh, we are going to type the input for the search keyword so search keyword so whatever the user inputted into that inbox we want to put into the search bar okay so once we've done that we'll have another little sleep a little snooze for five seconds i'm making the sleeps quite long so you can see what's going on so it gives you time to look and then we want to send and then we're going to do curly braces and then we're going to put um, enter curly braces and shut that off so when we're using uh, keys such as enter, delete, we put curly braces around. I'll put in the description a link of all the different keys that you can use and how you put them in. Okay, so send, uh, and I need to actually put quotation marks there and there. Okay, and then after we've done that, we're just gonna sleep. We're gonna sleep for, let's say, five seconds. Okay, so let me save this, control S, okay, and then let's run this and then I'll talk you through the script. So input a keyword, I'm gonna just put football, put okay, open up the browser, we're on Bing. Okay, it's clicked the search bar, football, wait in five seconds, click enter, and there we go, we've made a search. So what have we achieved? We've uh, gone, we've opened the browser, we've gone to bing.com, we've typed in a keyword that we took from an input box, okay, and then we've made that search. So let's run through this. So we've included the functionality for the browser, Internet Explorer, okay? Then we've made a local variable called keyword search, and that is equal to an input box, and we've put uh, pick a keyword, 
Okay, so whatever the user puts in that inbox then becomes inside this variable called keyword search. Okay, then we've made a variable called OIE and that's equal to creating a new um, object, uh, IE object, a browser object, and that object, the browser goes to bing.com. Okay, then we sleep for five seconds or wait for five seconds. Then we've made a variable called search bar. And that search bar holds the object, get object by name, okay? And then that's the browser. The input we need is what do we wanna uh, get the name by? So we use the browser we made here. And then what is it that we wanna grab? We wanna grab, in this case, Q, which is the name of the search bar. Then we use the IE action. And then what do we want to use that action on? Well, the search bar, this variable. And what do we want to do there? We want to click. Then we're going to sleep for two seconds. And then we're going to send keyword search, which is up here. So it's whatever was input into that input box, we want to type into the search box. Then we're going to sleep for five seconds. And then we're going to send the enter key. And then we're going to sleep for five seconds. And that is it, guys. That is how you do a basic search. OK, um, I hope that you found this interesting. OK, we're going to get on to a lot more really good stuff. But this is the basics of how you could do a search. We could have then gone on and grabbed all the links and put them into an array, into a list. And we're going to get into all that good stuff. But I just wanted to get um, your feet wet with uh, variables and input boxes and uh, opening up a browser and all that good stuff and these variables don't have to be what i've put in you whatever makes sense to you you can call these variables whatever makes sense to you and you should do that uh, we've learned about sleep okay i made these extra long just so you could see the action unfold and also you've learned how to send keys so we've learned quite a lot we've opened up a browser we've worked with variables we've made a search we've used input boxes We've done a little kip, we've had a little sleep, all that good stuff. So I hope you have found this of value. If you have, please subscribe, please hit that mother truck and bell icon so you get notified of the next video in this series. I'll catch you guys in the next one.